okay green revolution unit 3 we are going to discuss and uh, this is block 3 of mrd101 mrd101 block 3 and uh, unit 3 rural development agrarian issues and green revolution now uh, you see in this unit we are going to discuss about the what is green revolution background and the strategies impact of the green revolution yield income and employment then implications some problems were there okay then you know an assessment and new challenges before indian agriculture and wto the world trade organization ipr this type of thing we are going to discuss in unit three green revolution okay now see here as i told you earlier when we got uh, this independent the agriculture production was very very low why i am repeating this there was some technical uh, issue at that time i'm repeating this. that's why i'm re repeating this and uh, you know uh, you are not having sufficient funds to start um, any of either industry or agriculture production a lot of poverty was uh, prevalent at that time and uh, you know indian agricultural development you know we are going to discuss green revolution now indian agricultural development uh, is categorized as one institutional another technological so institutional means you know reform reforms and changing agrarian relations uh, land reforms uh, as an uh, you know engine of agricultural development land reform many 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 states you know we have already implemented uh, many many states have implemented agricultural you know the, sorry uh, the land reforms and uh, so these are the things which is coming under institutional and um, so many institutions we have set up that we are going to discuss one by one later on agricultural university is there technological so many things are there whether it is central agricultural university whether it is state agricultural university so many institutions at present we are having even central itself 47 uh, or more uh, central agricultural universities that in each state their own state uh, university agricultural universities are that they are doing a lot of research work and uh, producing seeds which are suitable according to their you know climate or whatever is there because each state has got a climatic condition is different sometimes so accordingly they have to do a lot of research and produce certain seeds which are uh, you know which will be useful for their respective states now institution i told you then technological i am just telling you green revolution technological now uh, listen to this very carefully what is technological in green revolution one is uh, that is green revolution mid 60s 1960s so don't forget there are two persons actually one is uh, dr m swaminathan the other person also we are, i am going to discuss later on so we should, uh, he, they contribute a lot during the you know uh, do, uh, because of this you know for uh, the green revolution of this uh, our country uh, and producing you know they just you know suggested many things to the government how to produce more productivity how can increase everything then uh, green revolution that started in 1960s okay then um, system, that is Green revolution means systematic attempt to increase agriculture uh, production and food grains, food grains in India. One is, green revolution means, one, is, one, of, uh, one of the objectives is that systematic attempt to increase, uh, you know, agricultural production, food grains in India, applying, you know, new technological uh, you know, cultivation purpose, new technology or whatever is there, you know. Previously, we were manually, we were doing now through automation, we are doing that. A lot of tractors and many other things, you know, invented and implemented. Uh, you know, farmers are benefited out of it. So, that is other technology, you know. And uh, applying new, uh, you know, 
technological uh, technology of cultivation i had told you based on biochemical based on biochemical innovations by that is producing seeds and uh, it is biochemical innovations and another thing is high yielding variety see what happen our land is uh, so not at all sometimes for ripe some area some stay some proportion you know they are you know high yielding uh, you know land uh, everything is available whereas some uh, area where you know we have to uh, practically do something for uh, you know having uh, fertility of this particular land so there is so then only high yield higher income you can expect crop okay so then chemical but this is also technical uh, technology chemical fertilizer pesticide okay these are all uh, you know coming under green revolution because when you uh, the uh, this thing harvest uh, when you are doing the cultivation chemical fertilizer is also required pesticides are also required you know isn't it so then only high yield variety of uh, this thing paddy can be produced or some other wheat or whatever is can be produced now in the agriculture india uh, india's agriculture in 1950s backward and output per unit of land area very low then agro climatic this thing you know uh, condition agro uh that is indian agriculture uh, indian agriculture in 1950s so it was very backward at that time and uh, output per unit of land area low at that time in 1950s then agro climatic conditions regional variation sometimes you know some area we will get rain sometimes you know you know that uh, there are some places where there is no not at all you know no rain is there so it affects the cultivation also regional variation take place see jammu kashmir now to kanyakumari suppose andhra pradesh you know variations are there so agricultural production also it will be you know affected actually then another thing is the spread of irrigation Pre at that time in 1950 irrigation facility was not there at that time that is you know only we were de depend upon our farmers were depend upon rain okay and uh, there was no i told you uh, i will tell you later on uh, we just um, uh, you know irrigation facilities you know we lot of things we did later on sandra government and uh, many dams everything reservoir everything you know we constructed that also i will tell you details and uh, so then another thing was that there was no market any produce also very low price we were getting at that at that time 1950 then whatever you know the agricultural land we were having that is you know this uh, family members were doing the cultivation so others were not getting employment because you know they whatever land they, at that time it is it was joint family system a lot of members were there in the family so they will they will also get employment no so everybody instead of giving wages to other people they will themselves they will go to the pad, uh, this thing and uh, land area land uh, this thing and do the cultivation so the income you, en entire income there will not be any outflow only inflow will be there okay then another aspect was that institutional credit institutional credit if there at that time banks were not giving corporate bank, that much bank, you know uh, there was no national banks at that time you know nothing even it was only nationalized later on private banks were there then there was no cooperative society also at that time uh, like uh, whatever is prevalent uh, now that type of credit facility was not available to the farmers farmers you know they either they have to take uh, money from you know uh, from 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 uh, you know those who are very rich or something on interest basis after where they will not be able to repay back and sometimes they have to mortgage their property as well very peculiar problems uh, the farmers were facing at the time okay then uh, 
the land was inherited Be, you know when they were doing the partition the children will get or whoever the members will get a, a po certain portion of the land you know like that like that it was going on now after bifurcation everything you know then you know each uh, 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 because of the population because of the density of population now what happen yeah, by dividing the entire property people are having two cent three cent or whatever is there and four cent at least they can construct a small house not that uh, some people are having who are very rich they can have more uh, this thing but uh, here average i am just telling you you do to partition uh, and the land occup occupied by the family members have really it has come down then another aspect that first three that you know five year plan that is 1951 to 60 uh, 1966 1951 1966 first three year so then emphasis lot of emphasis was given for land reforms each five year plan if you want i can tell you each five year what are the what were the objectives only thing now i cannot say i don't know what is the objective i don't know But because in pre clear cut of this thing in the even uh, i was teaching the five year plan everything but here i am unable to after 12th or the 13th i don't know what are the objective uh, whether according to the budget uh, or you see our finance minister is announcing some budget then uh, you know allocation everything is in a different way previously it was not like that you know uh, i am not blaming i am not blaming anybody accuracy i don't know and not only that you know the accounting uh, methodology or whatever is there i don't know whether the 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 their our federal system the money is exchanged or given distributed to the respective states are according to the needs or uh, you know the requirements uh, made by them whether any debate is taking place in the parliament before budget uh, approval everything so these are the question to be asked because even this budget also last budget also nobody was there except the ruling party and they passed 12 lakhs of crores of rupees no discussion took place which is not good for a democratic country active debate should take place because what happened no very uh, so for passing you know out any bill in the either the assembly or parliament active debate should be take uh, you know should take place let me uh, tell you one thing once upon a time you so uh, you know that uh, one example i am just telling you in uh, parliament only one party was having only one member not that uh, i am not talking about the present uh, ruling party or something like that. no i am talking about the, during the period of nehru pandit jawala nehru who ruled who was the prime minister the longest tenor in india that is 17 years followed by indira gandhi 14 years okay followed by you know madmohan singh 10 years like that so what happened uh when uh, nehru was the prime minister of india at that time one party was having only one member in the parliament there was no opposition but you know that is called a statesmanship or dynamism he insisted he made that one member as the opposition leader he insisted the history is there that i don't want because there is not time he wanted he really wanted somebody to oppose him otherwise i will commit mistake in the parliament there should be active debate and for that even from other party he nominated as opposite remember only one member was there but even though he considered him as a opposition leader he wanted because you know he was telling that i will make many rules but somebody should oppose then otherwise i will commit mistake other things 
I don't want because it's uh, all India based, it's uh, telecast. And, uh, so, the, why, what I told you, the summary is, is active debate has to take place in the legislative assembly as well as in the parliament because many of the laws are pertaining to whether it be agricultural uh, farmers or poor people or, you know, uh, SC, ST, reservation, backward class, everything. So, very, very, you know, each state is having their own problem. It has to be discussed. Water situation is prevalent in Kerala. It is not... Uh, Jammu Kashmir is having some other problem. Pa Punjab is having some other problems. Each problem has to be discussed. That is called a diversity of the nation, you know. So, these type of things are there. So, now, here, 1951-56, the first three year or something like that of the five-year plan, a lot of emphasis. Uh, was given to, you know, for institution changes, okay, land reforms, then private investment. Private, in, the government was not having any money, you know, private investment and uh, legislator, uh, legislation. Then the applicable rules have to be uh, formulated, you know, land reforms and everything. Whatever is favorable, it should be favorable to the farmers, you know. So, Legislation should be the land reform. Everything is passed by legislative assembly only, right? Then, uh, please remember, there is union list. As there is, I think Mr. Subramanian is knowing everything, but you know it is recorded. Others are not knowing. There are so many students, uh, learners in this. Others, I don't know. They, um, they are unable to. Maybe they are uh, preoccupation or something. But it is not an excuse. And uh, because this is approved from Delhi and uh, time is limited and it is being recorded. And uh, only thing, those who are not attending, they will not get the opportunity to get, you know, clarification. Recorded message, okay, you can hear, listen to that. If any, if you are, but I can see if I open my cell, a uh, lot of questions people are asking or many other subjects and uh, when we conduct uh, this thing at that time they are not attending maybe maybe they are preoccupied i'm not blaming anybody somebody is sick or something like that okay but loss ultimately loss is for our learners okay not for me not for the institution so you will say that you know hurriedly uh you know we did no it is not like that see the reason is that so many courses are the june examination coming one by one, we have to clear. And for your kind of information, simultaneously, even myself uh, was just taking classes uh, even just uh, 30 minutes back. Other other classes. So, so many courses are there. So, according to our suitability <laughs> university, and this is the biggest university, you know, that in the world, perhaps open university. So, students are, you know, several, uh, I, I can't, you know, tell you how much students are. So, this type of things, you know, sometimes we have to understand and we uh, the biggest problem of course no need to talk to mr subramanian uh, mr subramanian no yes because he knows that see we, we should not learners should not compare this university with the other state university remember this the course material everything academic is very strong and evaluation is very strong okay and even you will be surprised see the organization structure of Vigno. They give a lot of importance for the academic uh, this thing. Very, 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 very foreign professors and many, many experts in the relevant area like that. So, and books, very, 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 you know, uh, useful. And you know what happened? Uh, some learners are thinking that, you know, I got uh, through, you know, by, by, uh, Grace mark or something, I just uh, passed a tender, then I passed a 12th also, grace mark. But please remember, no grace mark, not even half mark you will get. No uh, thing concession at all. You have to do according to the instruction given in your learner's uh, guide, whatever is the bed book or whatever. It is. You have to do that. You have to do a uh, project report, everything. The authorized people, are learners are telling, that's where I forgot, I was not knowing where to do the project. So that thing, no, we have to, we, they are unable, even they, they don't want to read the book. And remember, one more advantage I am just telling you, 
so far we were giving the you know the university this is this should be treated as a regular course through there was a gazette notification whatever indira gandhi now what happened open university they are offering it will be treated at par with the any other state universities or other regular university it will be treated as so you are having lot of advantage and not only your certificate is valid throughout the country not only they are having so many branches around the world and you know that igno is the biggest then i think uh, university open university in the world so these are the advantage you are having so avail those and uh, focus on it completely because it is not applicable to mr bala subramaniam i am talking to others they should not take casually by study these are all employment oriented courses so now anyway i don't want to give any type of advice i will do my duty properly so the thing is that uh, first uh, three years you know initially we were giving lot of emphasis for institution building a uh, changes and uh, land reform because we were not having uh, such a rules actually initially i'm talking about the 1951 66 period then private investment also we just thought and many states introduced land reform and lot of legislations have been passed then uh, agricultural property and social relations everything you know it was uh, mentioned reflected at the land reform then another river valley project river valley project just imagine can you ever now after so many you know decades you know one or two decades or whatever is there, is there any newly constructed dam in india newly constructed dam in india now you see now without that how you are doing the agricultural production everything now just see some of the you know major irrigation projects undertaken by government of india was some of them many nagarjuna sagar koyna that is near pune chambal damodar valley corporation indira gandhi canal you know bagran angle canal which is coming to rajasthan by crossing haryana bagran angle so, and if you see that canal itself it is like a big river okay so that uh, and so what is the advantage you know punjab people haryana people i uh, rajasthan people all these three states farmers can cultivate from that canal indira gandhi so bakranagar dam also there then kali uh, ganki river then malapra malprabha river kosi river that is tungabhadra and uh, you know these are all bhadra jalam sorry uh, bakranagar i already told you upper krishna then damodar already i told you ranjit sagar dam many other dams and uh, uh, even andhra and maharashtra you know they they're all every state you know uh, now there are nobody is uh, ready to do any type of you know uh, some uh, as a reservoir or whatever is there no they are not uh, ready to do that these are all old and uh, so we did a lot uh, in the past why i should tell this people will say we have not done anything we have not done anything in the past you know so i i should say something you know isn't it so these are all hirakuda mahanadi which is the longest bakranangal which is the highest and uh, uh, tehri dam which is the tallest which is you know located in uttarakhand you see okay like that uh, you know so many so many so many institutions or uh, um, reservoir dam everything is there very uh, so what i am telling these are all set up uh, initially by the government for doing for the help of uh, you know farmers for doing the cultivation and remember punjab the name was you know five rivers punch five rivers you know satluj bias ravi all these things you know and uh, for thailand hard working people patriotic people not that i am others are not patriotic but land i am just telling you even the land which they are utilizing very fertile land and and they 
uh, even ladies they used to do up to 8 o'clock 9 o'clock work and they're producing wheat largest wheat producing state and they are the biggest state in india which is donating or sorry contributing to the central pool wheat all this thing ariana followed by ariana and other rajasthan or whatever is and that wheat is coming to other states like uh, madra tamil nadu as well kerala everything so these are the thing now another high yield package that package means you know that is for producing more because there is ba- uh, very very soil is not fertile and uh, so it is designed to give much higher e- le- uh, yield by you know supplying fertilizer everything and uh, many fertilizer plant also set up in the country rashtri chemical and uh, this thing fct many other uh, uh, you know uh, so many so many fertilizer plant uh, uh you know so in various states even uh, panipat is there in uh, even batinda is there every everywhere this type of things in kerala uh, kerala i don't know uh, ah fcd right fcd so these are the things actually and uh, because they are supplying the fertilizer to the farmers and the farmers they are making the you know uh, uh, land which is fertile and producing and they are getting more yield and producing uh, you know more 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 uh, this thing either rice or wheat then hybridization that create variations of seeds ah, sometimes we are just uh, to research we are inventing seeds and uh, uh, that is called hybridization and uh, i think others uh, like a great, great person like mr subramanian others also should have because he knows each and everything what i am telling i am but uh, please remember this you can hear me properly mr subramanian oh, okay okay sir okay i can hear you for you i know that it is not recorded eh? you are the expert eh? isn't it <laughs> okay okay sir i am listening you <laughs> yeah yeah so but for others you know it is recorded actually you are already you know fun, uh, working and uh, anyway so for because since it is recorded let others also be benefited out of that through research we have produced lot of you know seeds for wheat sonar you know that is 64 lerma rojo this type of things you know the seeds we produce okay then uh, indian agricultural scientists evolved new four varieties okay that is uh, kalyan sona sonalika okay then uh, yes lerma or something like that okay and uh, you know yes kalyan sona all the thing in wheat also then rice also they produced uh, you know the uh, you know, that is you know ir h or something and uh, jaya this type, that is you know produced i think uh, perhaps uh, baba temurs and the bs i don't know some other thing like that you know new new some through research also we produce lot of seeds and uh, and that you know because our uh, climate uh, the thing is very unpredictable so within 2 3 months we can uh, you know uh, just uh, do the cultivation and get uh, the uh, you know whatever products from the field then high yield seeds were designed uh, to fertilize our intake for that fertilizer is required because and higher application of fertilizer were crucial for the success of this technology sir high yield variety you know this type of thing they need fertilizer also and for the success of this technology okay then many states i don't know here in some states in it did not regret but some i have seen that there is tube well corporation is there in many states they are you know pumping the water and the supply into farmers for doing the cultivation of wheat or whatever is there or sunflower or whatever then uh, grains or whatever is there so two wells even haryana is having two well corporation punjab is having two that is you know uh, tube well they are doing and from that you know pump by pumping you know the water is going to the agricultural 
the farmer actually okay so but remember there is cost escalation also when pumping but you know that what is diesel charges and other things there is they have to invest money also okay so if they invest money and do the cultivation then they they expect that the product at least also they should get good mar market price you know so now effects of uh you know this um, now what happened this increase in the cost of cultivation per hectare has gone up because of the you know usage of pesticide or this thing uh you know uh you know fertilizer and many other things the price is going up like crazy you know why why the what is the problem you know that the fertilizer is uh, fertil the all these things produced by the public sector uh, okay the public sector you know they have to pay good salary to the workers and uh, many other many benefit that they extend so that type of expenditure cost they have to uh, recover from other you know people also you know so they will not do any charity sometimes you know government <laughs> will be they will do you know so whatever uh, expenditure is there some 5000 6000 people were uh, working in some plant you know for that you know how much salary crores so only their products suppose in fertilizer or something then what will happen so these are the thing high effects of uh, an increase the cost of uh, cultivation per hectare not only that you know in hectare you know when you have to use the uh, tractor and other thing you know the how much diesel and per day expenditure all this thing it is going up exorbitantly okay whatever they say we have to give otherwise they will not render any service because they are all private okay now effects of green revolution hike in cost i already told you then decline in the real cost of product see when you produce more when you take uh, these product commodities in the to the market the real cost also will come down decline this is also the then uh north western parts of the country punjab jammu kashmir all these places rajasthan all these places wheat is producing more and not only that it is a leading crop in this region you know before uh, partition pakistan and india at that time you know jointly produce or have the world's uh, and the largest you know the uh, the number one uh, it will become number one in wheat production but half we bifurcated uh, so anyway we are uh, somewhat uh, uh, you know maintaining our food production everything satisfactory okay now uh, may 1964 lal bahadur shastri was the prime minister 1964 and c subramanian was the you know renowned uh, he is a freedom fighter also very very eminent uh, you know subsequently he handled the finance ministry also and many other he has uh, so many agriculture uh, department also he handled and he set up 1965 management of food economy of the country and provided an institutional support management of food uh, you know economy of the country and not only that we, the role played by b p paul dr b p paul and dr m r swaminathan is very very significant and uh, for success of the green revolution in the country okay then another aspect is that now they have in the book uh, they have got this unit 3 so uh, they have given chart showing area of cultivation cultivated area high yielding uh, varieties of products and different crops that is you know different crops like uh, you know wheat uh, uh, maida and uh, jowar and bajra all these things high yield in every year how much production india did all these things they have given a table that you can see that make comparison the impact of the green revolution yield income see what happened i can uh, take without uh, you know seeing your book also 
But the difficulty is that, you know, whatever is mentioned in your book, I to go accordingly. So because nothing, we I don't want to omit anything because it will be a funny question. Remember, I told you earlier also, one question, the first question is 40 marks. So I have already, I think, uh, we have to write uh, more pages for that, for getting 40. One gentleman has done only one page. 40 marks, one uh, recently. Okay? That should not be there. So 40 pages, uh, 40 marks, you have to write more. Even 10 uh, marks afterwards, you know, 10 marks. That, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yes, 40 marks, then uh, 20 marks. You have to write at least three, four or five, because some people are writing, you know, the way they are, you know, four or five pages. Then only you will get 20, uh, at least four. Then only you will get, properly, then only you will get 20. So, because I have seen that uh, they don't know how many pages are get. Pages means it should be uh, not pages, number of pages. At least, you know, you are creative. That general, this thing should be there while writing that. Okay. Okay. So, the same way, six mark. At least you have to write, you know, one and a half pages. One and a half pages. Okay, people are writing in a different type, you know, sometimes big letters and other things, you know. I think one and a half pages you have to write. And 40 uh, mark, you know, you have to write more. 20 mark, if I am telling four pages or five pages, multiply by that. That much you have to write, then only you will get 40 mark. And remember, if you are not written, you know one thing. Suppose if somebody has written only one page, then 40 mark has gone. Suppose, you know, if you got uh, five mark, one, one, one page, how much mark you will get? Five mark? Okay, or six mark? Then you have gone already uh, uh, 40, uh, 34 mark, uh, 30, already you lost 34 mark in that particular one question. So, because I have seen that uh, MRD, uh, they are getting less mark. Why? This is the reason. They don't know. When we conducted the classes, you know, they are not attending and they are utterly confused sometimes. And uh, there are question papers. There are, you know, guidelines actually. If they contact me, I will give the, you know, assignment how to write all these things. Guidelines, we just formulate them myself and Dr. Prema, who is the coordinator of the regional health center, and uh, I can apply you uh, my email ID. I think uh, this is the same number, and uh, you know, WhatsApp. Uh, uh, my email ID is unnikrishnan, unnikrishnan dot. If anybody is having any, any doubt, unnikrishnan, all small letter, U N N I K R I S H N A N dot I for India, N for Nagpur, C for Calcutta. Inc at gmail.com. If any, and uh, if anybody required that uh, you know guidelines or whatever is there how to write the assignment, then I can forward pardon, those. Pardon, sir. Eh? Email, eh? email ID Unnikishnan. There is a dot inc. Ah, dot inc. Uh, okay. uh, because I was working there in Kwai University. I was the principal actually. Okay. okay. That's it. I have not changed actually. INC, I for India, N for Nagpur, C for Calcutta. Okay. okay. So, yeah, at Gmail. Anything you can ask, any clarification or guidelines, I will provide. No problem at all. So, uh, this is the thing. Now, impact of Green Revolution yield, income and employment. See, uh, there are a lot of, you know, in, in the Green Revolution, impacts are also the, then, uh, you know, even... Impact means we have produced, uh, through research, we have, uh, you know, produ I mean, designed so many, so many, so many products like Kalyana Sona, IRA and Jaya of Rice and technological changes, yield of pulses and uh, when, uh, like that, you know, many other things also. Then, uh, then uh, chart of pre and post Green Revolution, one, this thing chart is there, you can see before, a green revolution, how India was, and how much rice production, wheat production, and other materials, pulses, and other things, how we were producing. And after green revolution, uh, how much production is there? They have given a comparative statement. Then they have also given in your book a table showing, no need to explain this, these are all figures. Table showing growth in yield of crop 
some you know i told you fertile land is there some area they are, they are very good cultivation we can do that that comparison also they have given then another thing is that uh, you know this minimum support price here the problem is uh, you know that agitation was some time back you know there was a problem market uh, you know price surplus of material and uh, farmers were not getting the uh, you know right price and uh, they were suffering a lot poverty their loan liability everything suicide many thing happened in the past in many states because what are they producing with through their hard work and uh, they should get uh, the pri uh, price also properly you know and uh, sometimes sometimes what happen when they are not getting say they must have taken loan from the bank by way of taking loan they have uh, you know uh, done this cultivation and other thing and uh, after selling these products and uh, they have to pay back to uh, with interest to the respective uh, bank also otherwise the property will be mortgaged i mean uh, sorry attached so then food grains as a buffer stock so many states are having surplus and uh, many times you know government of india is also telling we are having buffer stock and other thing and food corporation plays a vital role for storing this procuring and storing this material for uh, meeting any emergencies like a flood or drought or war war everything and at that time country will have a lot of problem even flood also you know you see flood affect everywhere it is it is the sometimes okay and uh, some drought also it is in the uh, climatic conditions changes are taking place so at that time central government they are giving many uh, subsidies or incentives to the farmers as well as general citizen so buffer stock should be there and we are surplus material surplus item we should uh, give to central pool so that central pool can distribute these material for the needy state so as to eradicate remove the poverty of the particular region then another thing the green revolution the higher input i already told you lower product price i told you then pushing down the rural wages wages sometime what happen a higher productivity is there sometime then what happen some minimum wages that also sometime coming down they are not paying the minimum wages to the worker because you know why continuous work they are getting getting you know so you you have be a day yesterday also i paid like that in tomorrow also i will call you and uh, so the actual uh, you know this uh, what is that uh, rate fixed by the central government uh, state government minimum wages are fixed by state government okay uh, this is the duty of the state minimum wages so sometimes you know these people are not giving our uh, landlords are not giving or land owners are not giving the minimum wages to the farmers also or workers also so this is a setback then another thing is ag agro processing into industries we started now lot of uh, big, uh, agro processing industry then uh, increase in net cultivated area that also gone up because of uh, government initiative uh, in many states the net uh, cultivated area also because you know the population is also there no so everybody has to do something for either employment or something like that so but uh, another problem the set problems are there in uh, some problem uh, of green revolution after green revolution this thing uneven spread of you know per capita that land availability uneven some people are having more uh, land some people are not at all having and per capita pulse decline then edible oil still imported edible oil we are producing but still we are importing rubber we are producing there is a rubber board also but still we are from uh, malaysia and many other places we are importing and it affects the farmers rubber and the prices all this thing in it will affect so we have to take extra care for this and uh, edible oil and uh, uh, still government of india sometimes it is importing it affects the farmers to sell their products in the market 
because sometimes palm oil and other thing you know cheap oil we don't know whether what type of adulteration and other thing we don't know because you know so we have to purchase a cheaper rate and other thing but quality we don't know nobody will give any assurance like you know if you purchase anything from china any guarantee is from china like that so then soil fertility that also some problem is that then better access to uh, you know the uh, yeah irrigation facilities than seeds fertilizers credit nowadays what happens credit facility everything government uh, you know taking uh, taking lot of initiative through credit, credit uh, cooperative society they are extending loan facility to the farmers but it is horrible uh, i am not telling i am uh, frankly if you ask me i think uh, mr subramanian is knowing much better than me see uh, see i am not a professional i am in this but even though i am just a, see the people who took loan from bank they have to mortgage something if they are unable to uh, government is not sometimes supporting maybe they will extend you know repayment that's all uh, but the repayment again the interest will be accumulated no? so afterwards what happens the very poor condition for the a person who took loan from the bank that type of thing there are any many other setbacks are also there so these are uh, farmers are facing or uh, small small uh, people are having problem so i told you that also then uh, factor then declining total uh, factor productivity i told you water management concern water management you know that certain that is also not uh, you know managed properly the water which is coming you know kerala has got 44 rivers all the water it is going to arabian sea or some three four river it is going to some other uh, sea so water water the management is not proper everywhere it is like that and it will be the, the afterwards the river will become you know dry or whatever is there you know now without any water and uh, water citizen will the management is not uh, water management is not okay not okay so and not only that the the pollution in the water is severe all i can tell you in kerala all the rivers are polluted all the rivers are polluted periyar river you know uh, all you know the uh, so many factories are located nearby if we all waste everything dumping in the periyar river and we are uh, thinking that you know the water which is coming in periyar is very 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 pure no even i am also taking water from periyar only through but the problem is that nearby the village is a area you know where the it is flown uh, and lot of factories are located and the waste they are dumping in the river so automatically the even you, the color of the water sometimes is changing you will say that there is no color for water but here you can say something green so why how it is that it is polluted everywhere it is not i not only one river i am telling you, every river even i am telling you even whatever the, this uh, sea whatever the ca canal or whatever is there everywhere it is polluted and dumping plastics and other things you know so many things are there so we have to it affects our you no know, how can you eat fish properly the fish even today morning is uh, there was infection that which uh, is coming from outside shade be careful like that they are for keeping that fish for longer period you know they are just using some other uh, so everywhere this type of problems are the adulteration and everything okay then first problem agriculture pest problem i think Uh, you know that you know always you know that type of difficulty is there and uh, farmers are suffering they are losing their uh, you know what how much expectation was there sometimes they will not get that much also then green revolution assessment yes so lot of um, uh, you know uh, we help but one thing which i want to communicate is that government of india has announced so many i think schemes are there. Uh, that will come later on okay all the schemes i will tell you but uh, whether the schemes are implemented or availed the, by the people properly 
many people are not knowing that such schemes are existing even i don't know i am teaching i am taking rural development master degree or whatever is there or any other classes and other thing so many so many so many so many schemes are there this is for what purpose i don't know it is you know half this half this and just you know when the party is changed at that time the, they will change the name of the scheme also utter confusion or sometime only thing or my request i am we are not blaming anybody only request is that it is the duty of the sender as well as the state as well as the local self government to make aware this type of schemes to the ordinary citizen so that they will understand the facility extended by these government and they can also avail okay some people are not at all knowing so especially in rural area and other thing so hope that the situation will improve and government is extending many many now one thing i will tell you one there is medicine cheaper rate medicine pm uh, prime minister uh, this thing uh, one good scheme is there very nice good scheme but when you go to the shop they are giving equivalent of some other medicine now what happened it happened to me also i didn't ask, even though i to purchase because they made the bill a very very big bill but what happened i cannot use this medicine without asking my doctor that is he prescribed a renowned you know very famous doctor he prescribed the medicine now when i take this uh, you know to medical uh, shop they are supplying some other medicine in lieu of it so then whether i can take that medicine or not again i have to consult doctor that type of things are also <laughs> so medicine that time they are supplying i am not uh, blaming but it is good scheme everything very nice i am not telling that we are encouraging we are not, but this type of things are there. and uh, and the problem during covid time even they will put uh, they, nobody is allowed to go inside also so whatever they supp- put you take the medicine and put in the pocket, uh, packet and they will supply when we bring this you know to our house and open that uh, then the medicine will be different this type of things are there. this is also, so generally okay that forget it is a small issue but it is a big issue that the schemes announced by either the state government or the central government it should be known to each and everybody so government has to take utmost care even through uh, you know the local self government or something to appraise the ordinary citizen that these are the facilities extended by our government so that they will also uh, get uh, you know avail those opportunity okay this is the thing now so there are lot of challenges now because of uh, you know domestic uh, you know agricultural cover uh, that is you know three broad area that is domestic uh, uh, support of or reduction of domestic subsidies now what happen government is giving some subsidies sometimes sometimes they are giving sometimes you know not giving like our gas earlier we were getting after they stop sometimes the farmers are getting subsidy sometimes no they are giving but no they are giving we don't know when they will that type of things are the uncertain like a you know climate you know uncertain when we will get in this thing that affects the farmers uh, this thing then self confident then another thing market access to Uh, import liberalization yes very very relevant after globalization liberalization whatever is there alone by our dr manmohan singh we can import anything we can export anything there is no license raj in our days so because of this import it is affecting the people also farmers after products see himachal pradesh jammu kashmir they are producing you know that apple good quality number one quality and you are also getting apple from other countries also here even from saudi arabia or some many 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 foreign countries it is available here itself even orange also many other this thing also from greece 
you know, whether many or whatever, you know, the fruits are available, there, it is getting here. So, when instead of uh, taking apple of Himachal uh, Pradesh or Jammu Kashmir, sometimes we take apple of some other country sometimes. So, it affects the farmers also. <laughs> These type of things are there. Then, uh, expert, uh, yes, then co export competition. See, what happened? That also taking place. When you want to export something, suppose you are having some fruit. Now, for example, in Ernagulam district in Kuchi, that is in Kerala, pineapple, pineapple, largest production here. Suppose they are exporting, either Gulf country or any other country in the world. Suppose if they are having more, you know, competitive, then they have to export the material or whatever um, commodities with, uh, you know, by coating lesser weight. So competition, but competition is required. One thing is the competition is required. It is helpful for society. But do, because of competition, sometimes it affects also. There are advantages also. Okay, now, for example, I'm just telling you one previously ambassador car, car was there and a premier, ma, ma, the other premier car or something car was there. Now see the market. So you, if you have money, you can purchase any brand. But heavy competition take place. Maharaj is also having a lot of uh, challenges to meet, uh, at least, you know, sustain in the market. <laughs> that type of, like that, many other industries as well. So farmers also having the same problem. So this is the, this unit. Now another unit will go, that is unit four. I, that is block three, unit four, agricultural extension services. Extension service, yes. Yeah. Now, Mr. Subramanian's area. Okay. Uh, that, you know, whatever uh, you know, the extension, uh, additional, this thing, services which uh, state government or central government is providing for, uh, you know, agricultural production. But are the, you know, some uh, other facilities, uh, you know, uh, institutions they started. So, the, about that we are discussing. Now, here, concept and the scope of agricultural extension. That is experience, you know, uh, you know, through formation and the social and, uh, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, the, the thing is also there, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, change through educational methods and, you know, the, sometimes, you know, land reforms are also taking place. So here, what happened in India, the concept of existence included both education and the services in the See, what happened? Uh, we have to educate the farmers, actually. Some you know, illiterate farmers are also there. So we have to educate also for that. Some service, uh, our village office or extension office, a block, a panjayat drive system, everything. It is there. So, and they are also going to their house to the people and, you know, how to get the family pension or something else and, uh, you know, death relief fund or whatever is there. So that type of thing, you know, they are, uh, these people are providing. And more details we will uh, discuss. Okay. Now, here, the tradition of extension. Conservative tradition. We are having conservative tradition. Okay. Whatever it was we were doing earlier, we will continue to do that. We are not ready to change, you know. There was always you know, resistance to change by the farmers. Because they are, it is unpredictable. They, they don't know whether it will succeed or not. If he suggests something, you do this, you experiment with this seed. But he is doubtful whether I will be successful or not. It will be a loss. Or we don't know. Like that. Then, social tradition. Socialist tra tradition. Then, formative uh, or human, uh, what is that? Uh, yes. Yeah, resource development tradition. And some tradition. Then, another thing is personality extension. Personality uh, sorry, perceptive uh, compulsion that the extension is also due to some this thing, you know, we are uh, persuading the people to do certain, you know, that extension is also there. Now, here, rural extension, one is rural development, then animal husbandry, then industry, then forestry, then uh, fisheries, and home science. Of okay, the land in the whatever is there, you know, 
So rural extension means uh, extension that is pertaining to rural development, animal husbandry, industry, forestry, and fisheries, home sign, and land. These type of things are also there. Now, objectives of agriculture uh, the, uh, extension, objective, that is to educate the farmer, okay, uh, about, uh, you know, this, uh, what is the farming, that innovation, you know, what are the changes taking place around the, either the state or in the world, how you can, uh, you know, uh, reduce the expenditure for doing certain cultivation and uh, by using uh, automation uh, machine or uh, whatever machinery or tractor or whatever it is, uh, we have to appraise them. They are not uh, ready. Immediately, they are not ready to change. They are not, even educated people are not ready to change. So, their farmers, how they will change? Because they are following the traditional method. But now, of course, the situation has changed, right? Because uh, many, many new developments have taken place and they are because the advantage is that they are also going to town and many other areas or many other states. They are also seeing what is going on in other states also. Okay. So they are willing to, to, to make changes. Okay. Then another thing to provide improved technology. Improved technology? Yes. Agricultural tools, machinery, whatever is there. Information, skills, everything. Then another aspect is that they should give feedback and uh, from the field, okay, to the research division. See what happened, each farmer is having his own problem. That uh, he should appraise this type of difficulty to the concerned authority so that they can uh, look after those and they can, or he can, concerned officer can take up with the government. Uh, for uh, necessary uh, remedy. Then, to, uh, you know, assist farmers to get access to survey and supply credit facility. See, that's why we have to educate the farmers. See, from where we are going to take, uh, get the krishi bhavan, that uh, this thing is the uh, uh, fertilizer and many other things, you know, they are giving money. Uh, not only that, uh, you know, incentive, everything government is giving. That also through Krishi Bhavan they are just provide. I don't know. I think uh, Krishi Bhavan or some village office or something they are providing. So they should know uh, where to approach, how to approach, when to approach. So this is only through education only. Maybe they are illiterate. Somebody has to go to how very Gram Sabha, Gram uh, village, uh, Panchayat, Gram Panchayat, very Block Panchayat and a District Panchayat. So, panchayat should, uh, workers should, uh, irrespective of any political party, their, their primary duty is to provide a necessary help to the needy people, not to the party people. Okay. There may be some illness, they are unable to travel or something. Lot of problems will be there. So, the person who are attached, either in the Gram Sabha or uh, Gram Panchayat or whatever it is, they have to do willingly, they have to do the job, they should get to the job. I am telling the see I now for life certificate for getting pension. If a 90 year old, 90 year old man or lady, how he will you no, know, no, people are going to their house, that is okay. But when they will go, that is the thing because they have to go to many places. And another setback I am just telling you, they are distributing pension. Pension is distributed by somebody. But it is coming to the bank and at his will, you know, he is coming and he is uh, supplying, giving the pension also. Is it correct? It is uh, state government money. And remember, the central government is also giving a portion of this. And somebody is taking uh, you know, our money from the bank. Because, you know, all money is transferred to a particular bank. Some money, some bank, cooperative bank or something. From there, a list they will provide. And each person is eligible to, you should disperse this much amount, like the money also they will give. And that man, 
least, you know, uh, Vimson, you know, this thing, you know, whenever he gets time, he will come and distribute. That is also there sometimes. So, government has to take care of this. And not only that, we have to. Uh, one thing yesterday I was telling you, we had to make, uh, you know, whatever, you know, the help we can do to the farmer, and uh, we should do it. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, some counseling is required for the farmers. They cannot bear the, you know, the problem which they are facing. They may be, I think, uh, children will be sick or they are unable to pay the fee to the children. And for starvation, many things, they will commit suicide, many things. So, counseling is also required, actually, sometimes. So, if proper education is provided, then, the, the, you know, at least some tolerance and uh, this thing will be there, no? Otherwise, they will take extreme step. Extreme step. Sometimes the father is a father. That is, you know, maybe he is a daily wages worker. And he, uh, you know, he has to take care of his uh, children who are studying. It so happened many years back. I will tell you one small incident. Here, counseling is required. This education, the value of education and counseling. Now here, for our students, for our family, for this type of farmers, everybody proper counseling and general awareness is required. I will tell you why. One, that the girl student, that the daughter was studying in a college. This happened three, four years back. By am telling this example, this is here the counseling is required, that tolerance is required, and the father was illiterate, he was unable to do, and you know, it, it without within with his, without his knowledge also it happened. See, that girl came to house evening after from the college, and he uh, father was a daily wages worker, and you know, daily wages are daily, they will not get have the job. Whenever they do the job, they will get the salary, uh, wages. And for that, you know, he has to do purchase uh, all these things and uh, take care of the family. So he came to his house and uh, daughter told that tomorrow I want 200 rupees for paying the fee in the college. You know, the father told, I am having only 100 rupees. 100 rupees, I will give you later on. Uh, that is tomorrow I will borrow because night only you told me. So, 100 rupees take immediately he gave 100 rupees to daughter and remaining 100 tomorrow I will give you. I will borrow from somebody and I will give you. She told okay and remember what happened? He, she went inside, never came back because she didn't utter a single word with his beloved father. He, she was knowing uh, that father's problem very well. But she was having, how can I face my principal or mistress or master or whatever is there, that I last day it is tomorrow. So if I am not paying the fee, they will ask me to go out and in front of others I have to stand. So that type of thing, you know, it really after you know, the it has gone in her mind and and dash dash dash. It, it is happening. If you see so, so what happened? We had to take care of each and everything and uh, proper counseling. Every, especially nowadays, proper counseling, everything is required. And uh, counseling has to be done by the trained people. Not that you know, I will also do. I will also do. No, trained people only counsel. They should do that so that he will come out of that or she will come out of that. Okay, it will take time, of course. Then different approaches for organizing agriculture extension services. Here, ah, different approaches. Here, the uh, different approaches, uh, ag agriculture extension, that is general agriculture extension approach is there. The commodity specialized approach is there. Training and the visit approach is there. That is, you know, we are training and we are just afterwards, you know, that gentleman is visiting the villages and, uh, you know, that type of approach is also there. Then participatory extension approach. 
you know everybody is you know together and uh, they are jointly they are working together and to making the program successful you know that is also the project approach then farming system approach that is also the farming system approach that is you know for cultivation you know you are just mingling with others and jointly they are doing the cultivation also it is happening yeah, sometime now then cost sharing approach water expenditure is there to incur you know that cost is incurred by this man and that man and they are jointly sharing the total money or whatever is there and they are doing the cultivation also. that is also approach one approach then educational institution approach institution can also like agricultural university everything they can also through radio through telephone there are a lot of advertisements are coming it is a general awareness program so they should educate the people so here what i want to tell you that nowadays the channel you know they are competing for their uh, rating etc which, which perhaps you know it is not at all useful sometimes but a uh, useful information sometimes we are not getting and we cannot uh, uh, take it for granted whatever they are telling correct or not tomorrow they will deny also he somebody is alive with you will say dead also that is also the and uh, so we cannot uh, you know by hearing this you know we cannot take any action also that is also the see you see the olden times you know sometimes the doordarshan krishi darshan and many other things you know, which was very very useful for the farmers and it was such a program should be there in now also it is there i mean in between 100 advertisement also will come that is there but what happened you know but of course uh, doordarshan and radio and far better but access to this type of things now it is very less people they want to entertain or entertainment they require either day. but what through television and uh, through radio or whatever is there or whatever channel we had to tell the people farmers younger generation even old people elder persons what to do what not to do everybody the counseling is required for not one category all even for old persons also required and so many other people also irrespective of you know where wherever whenever it is required that's what not that only child is required no sometimes father is required father is suppose is a drug addict and he is not taking care of the family then what he will do the type of, and the, he is the only bread uh, earning member in the family what are you going to do that's why this type of counseling is required for everybody wherever needed not that everybody <laughs> wherever needed so but that should be a trained person then only it will be successful okay so that is also one approach then agriculture extension uh, extension in uh, india after independence now there is community development program then you know there is uh, government program is the cdp community development program intensive agricultural district program 1961 district wise also uh, program is also there and uh, you know uh, there are, that i will tell you bifurcation of this then i wa iaap that is in uh, uh, that is in uh, intention agricultural area program intensive sorry intensive agriculture program that was started in 1964 then here small farmer development program is the marginal farmers uh, and agricultural labor development program is the and educating the people then drought prone area program now see in the maharashtra in eastern part of maharashtra i am not telling maharashtra only everywhere it is the eastern part of maharashtra many times a drought how to come across this then and that time so many people you know the, they are committing suicide and many other things you know so we have to avoid that proper awareness should be given and the remedial step is to be taken and safeguarding the precious life of our farmers who are the backbone of the country okay then only the dream of mahatma gandhi will be fulfilled because in their lies in villages and farmers more than 60% are employed in the rural area we should help extend necessary help but sometimes government you know they are spending crores of crores of rupees for their travel and many other things they should wave of some loan to these people because they borrowed money and they borrowed money and doing the agricultural production okay 
and uh, if with they have to pay repay back with interest to the bank otherwise the property attached property will be attached again problem they will be thrown out of the house also again problem so government has to seriously think about this and some people are not having house farmers so we are spending crores of rupees but this type of thing we have to take proper care all government state or center or whatever not only that the ground reality the pan, our panchayat raj system is there no they should appraise this type of thing to, to gram panchayat to block panchayat the block panchayat i think the mr subramanian know each and everything and gram panchayat to block panchayat and block panchayat to district panchayat you know district panchayat you know the uh, all you know you know every district is having they should appraise to our uh, department also you know in uh, wherever you know secretary everything these are the pro- director agriculture this thing you know so they should appraise this type of difficulty agree sometimes we have to wave off many things because drought with the flood will be there then what are you going to do in the flood during flood every crop everything uh, destroyed everything taken away then what uh, so at that time government has to sincerely without any intermediate uh, the intermediary or something you know agent or something like that directly they should transfer the directly directly they should transfer the amount to the respective saving bank account of the individual i think of course uh, some people they are doing that sometimes but it is not uh, up to the mark in my opinion okay now i i have seen that uh, when the flood was there even to you two years back the water reached here to just near to where i am sitting just near to my house water reached periya river but remember yeah okay for me i never climbed or anything nothing was there and nothing was spoiled but others were they were you know for how everything a lot of damage was there. but remember those who are really affected they were not benefited and those nothing was affected and they got a lot of benefit all this type of thing also happening so proper survey is to be done by the local people and appraise the uh, competent authority to disburse the funds within the limited period not indefinite period this type of thing sir then uh, tv tnv uh, system what is tnv training and visit i told you whenever we visit uh, our the village you know uh, houses before that Uh, remember proper training is to be given to this village extension officer or over probation officer or over it is assistant or the proper training is to be t- he should be should not be arrogant he should de- interact with the people properly they are illiterate at least sometimes sometimes so uh, old people so they have we will give lot of respect to those people and you know do the needful whatever is required actually so that they will be happy we want happy citizen happy people you know not only by promising okay this type of things are also there now let me tell yes now mr subramanian uh, this thing is coming the extension organization set up at the various level if uh, something is missing kindly appraise me so that i can also learn the extension organization set up at the various le- levels in uh, state government there are lots of organization structure okay there are lot of additional secretaries sorry additional directors of you know the agricultural department additional directors they are reporting to director of agriculture see there is secretary secretary is making the policy and but implementation is director okay if i am wrong kindly tell me mr subramanian later on i will give you 10 minutes at that time you can discuss with me if i am at wrong or something like that okay then several additional directors and they will directly report to the director agriculture under them there are joint directors under direct uh, additional director there are lot of joint direct- maybe some changes will be from state to state it differs eh? sometimes changes may take place a state government can take a decision also there are joint directors or deputy directors then number there will be number of specialist in administration personal management inputs 
for getting input from the flow field, you know, extension, then seeds, seed, then seed, seed, then information collection, training, monitoring, technical support, this type of thing. You can see, have a lot of specialists and uh, they, they, are, they will report to deputy director or joint director, more, you know, Mr. Subramanian can say. Now, in district-wise, district-wise, there will be district extension officer, okay, also called deputy director of agriculture. District extension officer, also called as deputy director of agriculture, and he will be supervised by zonal or divisional extension officer, who is joint director of agriculture. Okay, now, in district extension officer, district extension officer, and there will be a subject matter specialist, that is SMS. There will be subject matter specialist. Then subdivisional extension officers will be there, SDE, uh, yes, SDO, SDEO, okay. That is subdivisional extension officers. Then in the block, five to eight, Agricultural extension officers are there in the block. See, three, four panchayat will make a one block. I am approximately just telling you. Three more, so many gram sabas will make a panchayat. Three, four panchayat will make a block. And three, four or five blocks will ultimately become the district panchayat. Okay, so that of course later on we can discuss. There may be sometimes changes in the number or whatever is there. Then another thing in block of five to eight of agriculture extension officers are there. Then they are supposed to supervise eight village extension workers. Okay. And this VEWs, village extension workers, are directly in touch with the farmers at the village level. This is the thing. We are having Krishi Vigyan Kendra, KVK. Then state agricultural universities are there. Every state is having agricultural university. Central universities are also there. Okay. In some states, there are two agric central agricultural universities in uh, agricultural universities. In uh, some state, only state agricultural universities are there. And uh, they are doing a lot of research, a lot of, uh, they are doing uh, many things, but uh, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, the objectives are for setting up this agricultural university, uh, they have to suggest, they have to give, whatever product they are, they are, whatever, you know, invention is taking place, and that is, that they should present to the competent authorities and sign the agriculture sign this, and in turn, they have to who uh, appraise the farmers as well if you use the seed, what are the advantages, disadvantages, side effects, or what uh, fertilizer you have to use, and what pesticide you have to use, all these things you have to, uh, you know, explain all these things, okay? Those who are doing uh, the research. Now, here I am just telling you, one more thing I am telling you. When we are talking about the state agricultural university, only Underline the word, only the renowned agricultural scientists, engineers or whatever is there, they should be appointed, not on political ground. If such persons are appointed on political ground, you cannot expect any return from them. They will be busy in some other matter, okay? So, who are, you know, the research worker, I, I can tell you one small example. I am happy with one person, just, uh, you know, one example I am just telling you. Kerala has got, you see, don't think that I am talking about Kerala. One example I am telling you, take it as an example. Every time, you know, we are, we are specialized in criticizing, you know. But remember, there is one Indian Institute of Management in Kodipur, very great institution. And can you imagine that Debashi Chatterjee is the director. And he completed a five year. He went abroad. He came back uh, 
the again he was appointed as the director again the government gave exception no budding raised any objection just imagine no budi we are very famous for criticizing isn't it but in this case no budi criticize either the students or the trade union or the uh, ruling party or opposition party no budi you know why international you know the recognition is there the general man have international magazines and other in 40 50 some i don't know so many books he published is really an asset to the state that type of person should be uh, at least in you know, a position in the in such a university the biggest drawback in our university is that we are appointing either on the political ground or something you know the result is zero i will quote one example how our vice chancellor or chancellor over it is should be say on, i told you on merit basis through competitive this thing and through thorough personal interview or something by seeing his background and everything we should do now one incident i am telling you here you can see a lot of controversy everything i am telling one good example because i don't want to touch any other bad thing i also studied in outside kerala and a vice chancellor was 15 year he was continuously vice chancellor after 15 year he himself told that i don't want to continue i want to go abroad or to usa or something like that nobody asked him to go now another nearby state K- uh, tamil nadu once upon a time there was mahalingam uh, you know you know uh, vice chancellor of what is that uh, you know uh, madras university which is one of the oldest universities in the country okay so he was the vice chancellor of that madras university at that the many years back the day it happened eh? not now many years back i am just showing one example how a person should be that's all now what i mean he was a renowned personality everybody admired him but what i mean there was uh, some trade union and during exam time non teaching will uh, staff will go on strike then how they will conduct the examination non teaching staff will go they will they made a practice that they will go on strike during the examination schedules can you imagine this so what how they can conduct the examination it happened to me also in bombay twice to consecutive year they could not conduct any uh, examination i got exemption certificate from bombay university that uh, because at that time the non teaching uh, staff will go on strike they cannot conduct any uh, exam so here also it happened now here i am just telling mandas in the end this okay i studied i read a book from that i am just telling, sharing so what happened somebody the workers they wanted salary increase or something like that they threatened or whatever is there and uh, then uh, mr mahalingan told uh, it is not a uh, we cannot give that because the state government has to decide about this wages wage increase or something because they are giving grand so he wages because they will go lakhs of lakhs of rupees will go up there are hundred people are working in the university you know which is one of the biggest in the perhaps oldest university in the country so he told that state government will i will i will take up with the state government i will what are proposal you are giving but i cannot give any commitment because the money is to be given by state government that is correct 100% correct but you know the trade union didn't allow we will not allow you to function that is the university you cannot conduct exam he, he didn't tell anything just see he didn't tell anything let me conclude with this example he just uh, by after 5 o'clock he just uh, went to straight away he went to rajbhavan he submitted his resignation because vice chancellor is appointed by the vice chancellor chancellor is the governor okay now he submitted a resignation he didn't tell anything no he didn't disclose with anybody you know he submitted a resignation but remember this news spread like a wild fire mahalingam design and you will be surprised that all the people you know barkes who were on strike they came and approached the mahalingam sir please withdraw we don't want anything no salary increase you should be there in the institute 
because because of you this institution reputation has you know gone internationally you know that so we, you should be there we we withdraw our demand for the time by nothing now for an exam we tomorrow on we can function you should withdraw and they really apologize for them and finally he because you know he is, cannot he cannot oppose the workers so it is their right but he cannot do it because the state government uh, you know they have to clear so then finally the here what is the why i, I told you the example that is personality always the same way the agricultural university also such good person from wherever you know where whichever state he should be a competent person so that more and more research can be done and afterwards you know definitely new new things can be invented and uh, uh, this will help our state to grow farmers this will help the farmers state also will uh, grow definitely you know to grow then or ultimately our central government also will be benefited out of it so many institutions are there i told you 47 central university each state is having uh, okay so just imagine if everybody do the good thing then definitely not that you know, they have got wide lot of areas and buildings and other things no but they have to do something which is constructive this thing invention they have to do which will be helpful for the farmers okay now uh, yes i told you the organization structure okay of this uh, yeah krishi bhavan sau ngos are also playing vital role non governmental organization and uh, indian center uh, yes there is icar indian council of agriculture research that is also there and they are also making lot of policies and lot of research they are doing this type of things are also there now the extension role of agricultural i told you no, i don't want to repeat extension role of agricultural universities and the icar institution indian council of agriculture research institute the why i am telling this i have seen i was in uh, central government i had seen we can uh, you know just made uh, formed many 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 institute we don't know for what purpose that is also there i don't want to tell the name without a we you know one paisa contribution there are certain institution they are, they don't know what they they are supposed to do that is also there so what happen there are many many institution institute can i tell you one thing under science and technology more than 50 55 in uh, autonomous bodies and other uh, establishments are the under science and technology drdo more than 54 to 56 or 57 institutions are the under them now you tell me are the 57 what are the contribution yes some of them are brilliantly they are doing good thing but some nothing that is also the so such either they they should merge with the as a department of some other this thing they should try, try to reduce the budget uh, this thing you know provision and other thing and reduce the expenditure or they will they should make a, as a separate department under some other bodies or something like that for each and everything you know we are making some autonomous bodies and some for making super computer one thing mini computer another organization you know like that like the ordnance factory you can see that you know many many ordnance factory and uh, their outputs sometimes you know we have to see this type of thing now uh, what i'm telling institution definitely lot of institutions are the uh, especially after the, see can i point out one thing sir all in the institute of medical science is there no now lot of uh, institutions have specialized uh, uh, why we are regarding giving lot of regards to all indian institute of medical now even now also why gold is all we gold sometimes you know we are having lot of scientific institutions in the country can i i tell you one institute that is called indian institute of science how can, if you want to take a phd from them you know how much difficult it is so such great institutions are required for you know building our nation you know reach uh, already yes great institutions are there and uh, so we, government has to support and the person who are working there should 
be loyal and dedicated with i mo with utmost integrity they have to function so here also all this institute lot of bodies are there and additional director secretary so many people are there so they should also contribute a lot then indian council of science krishi vigyan kendra that you know very well krishi vigyan kendra then institute village link program village that link program village you know linking villages and other thing and another aspect is that yes privatizing privatizing see here i want to tell you yes mr subramanian i think you will be able to tell this whatever i talked so far it is already government initiative everything i told you whatever i talked so far yesterday everything central government or state government initiative what about the private initiative now what happened government is unable to provide this type of facilities they are engaging private people to do certain jobs like indian railway previously toilet also uh, waiting room also handled by indian railway now even sanitary uh, car also now privatized same way this also difficulties faced by the government to do all oh, everything you know taking census and everything caste based religion based or whatever is there so they are engaging the private party also contract basis also you know that akshaya everything so they are just giving contract to them but while giving the contract i always remember it has done more harm than you know okay now reduce donor by you know because government is not having funds to do each and everything so they are asking the private party to do that okay then poor quality of the extension sorry yes we are recruiting lot of people but remember can you ask whether the people who are working in these the rural institutions are having the 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 required level of the qualification some people how they are coming what is their background how they are approaching through directly through bsc or backdoor not everybody but very sincere meritorious people are there i am not telling that but nowadays extremely bad situation the person who is having the rank first rank second rank third rank in the bsc also not getting appointment letter for your information just to through to the because the, these are all village based i am just telling you this is our subject see two three just one week back uh, i think you must have heard two, one, two weeks back one girl got in rank based meritorious basis got a psc selection she got a appointment letter with that appointment letter she approached kasar god the concerned office and the officer told here there is no vacancy he asked her to go to some other office how can you do that appointment letter is given that is without assessing the vacancy position people are appointed in the government even mr subramanian know that you know clear cut trans road appointment letter you will be posted you are required to report for duty at so and so place before on or before that is the no proper location and when you go there there is no vacancy here you go back and that lady was running pillar to post one for one month like that and uh, finally came in the newspaper also tv channel also this should not be there so this type of recruitment is also going on back door, back door and you know qualified people should be appointed through proper availability employment exchange also whether it is psc also because fortunately we are having lot of graduates and post graduate as well as engineers and doctors and mes and mtech people in the who are registered in the employment exchange professional degrees doctors engineers are appointed so why do you want to take this type of people they are ready to work so instead of taking on political ground or backdoor and whatever is that take qualified people so that they will be able to contribute remember if you are taking indirectly they will not do any job take it from me okay now another thing is that poor quality i told you why pri privating what are the advantages then uh, global compet yes global competition is there we have to meet the requirement of other people also and uh, subsidy okay but then another thing atma 
agriculture technology management agency these are all private everything so i don't want to talk much about this agriculture technology management agency is there so many things are there then problem fay and challenges extension services problem that is lack of participation from by the farmers so extension services are affecting because lack of participation of farmers two trickle down approach trickle down approach three lack of attention of farming to farming people are not ready to do farming i don't want then father parents are telling beta our son you don't do the you know you don't know you go for either abroad or do or go to other states and do the job and don't do any agriculture production you know you should not uh, you know make your clothes dirty or something like that you know so lack of attention in farming to farming then another thing financial crisis that is also the that's why state government as well as sometimes central government is giving the work to the private people also because they are unable to afford this type of things also then multiple agencies are there that are so affecting the government actually there are to do this job you know so many departments so many directors so many people unmanned people wandered people so the multiple agencies are also it create lot of problem to the uh, you know this thing even the private uh, government of india also sold uh, you know uh, baroda the indian petrochemical and other thing sold to private company reliance and other things you know so many things you know which are sometimes you know uh, they are if they are unable to do that then they they are selling out also okay so financial crisis i already told and poor impact that is also the so let me conclude with uh, one thing more lack of participation i told then another thing lack of professional competency in your book it is mentioned i told you already no not that by sitting some in that particular chair you will be able to do the job you should have professional skill professional skill to handle those job i told many example i told you know i told you mahaling many i can quote many now can i i tell one thing more mr subramanian say now election commissioner is there no chief election commissioner previously we were having one chief election commissioner tn session why still remember people remember tn session that mean he did lot of thing reform um, he brought uh, you know the election this thing not only that voter identity card everything lot of work he did and people still remember with high regard to so tn session even now also it is there no why so the man who is sitting in the chair should have the ability to handle free mind and without fear with utmost integrity that is the thing which we require especially when we are dealing with the village panchayat a lot of corruption is also taking place so we have to avoid that and the honest people should be deployed proper vigilance the biggest drawback is that social audit is not the proper audit proper audit is not the and you know because if they do the audit you know what will happen you know isn't it so it is better they do adrat really affect i am just telling you sir even for 12 rupees even my settlement was withheld by the central government for six months i was not knowing how it happened 12 rupees okay the that the card you know the audit because i, uh, I gave provided one cold ring to one advocate uh, in the court labor court and for that there was no bill and i didn't i could not attach in the tour uh, bill and god they could where, how he spent where is the bill it took 6 months to clear my this in 12 rupees remember so this type of thing unless proper audit is not the we cannot grow I, and we cannot uh, uh, at least you know solve this type of difficulty lot of money is coming to the say, local self government panchayat and many other things where the money goes nobody knows where the money you would be surprised that in the month of december there was a report that 
out of 14 districts in Kerala, except two, three districts, 50% amount earmarked for that particular year was not spent. Then, three months are remaining. January, February, March. See, you could not, you know, from April to December, you have not done anything. Then three months, what are you going to do? What, how much money you can spend? So everybody, the office bearers, including the president or chairperson of it, they are all responsible for that. That means it shows something. It is not the correct, the way it is going, actually, you know. Uh, that is planning, the plan fund or whatever is there. They, they effectively they have to utilize that they have not to utilize. So, but as on 31st March, 100 percent utilize. How it is happening? They, uh, maybe you will say that the bill will come later on or something like that. Okay, but but one thing you we cannot ignore that sometimes honesty, that uh, uh, you know corruption, everything, still it is uh, prevailing or prevalent. Whatever is there, we have to reduce that and we have to control social audit to be then. The person done without seeing his face or political affiliation, he should be, he or she should be punished. Then it will be a lesson to somebody else also. They will not do such job. Then only the institutional, that creating an institution for Panjadra system or this type of thing, the objectives can be achieved. And we, the people, we are the people to make, it, you know, show the way that is the thing which i want to communicate then neglect of farm workmen okay that youth you to see here yes, in your book it is mentioned you know this uh, youth they are not ready to do the job in uh, farm agricultural land then okay this is also there then poor people are not uh, knowing how to utilize the modern equipment also. Our uh, whether it is tractor or whatever is there, so a lot of technology, how many things are there, and uh, you know, they don't know how to utilize uh, this type of equipment also. So proper training or initiative has to be, uh, you know, we, uh, everybody has to take, even farmers should take, everybody, and government also has to ensure through either local self-government or something to help the farmers to, to to at least you know avail this type of opportunity because they can produce with uh, lesser cost and higher productivity everything can be ensured so let me this unit also that is three and four two units uh, i have completed in this block yes sir I think Mr. Subramanian case and something today, whatever uh, I told, it is, uh, I think you can appraise me whether it was correct or uh, is something you want to give inputs? Sir? You want to give any input, whatever I discussed today, the organization structure, as well as many things we discussed here, two units. You want to give any inputs, any questions or clarifications, if any? Sir, there is no question, but <laughs> there is a pain clarification. Uh, uh, there is a one thing. When we are talking about the, uh, the pattern of the agricultural uh, department, uh, uh, that uh, in our um, district, it is uh, the head is the principal director of uh, agriculture. Okay, okay. okay. There, is, there is no, been, uh, sir, noted that uh, there is an extension officer. Achha, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, been, uh, there is no extension officer, the principal yeah. director. Oh. And, uh, uh, below his rank, uh, there is, uh, came uh, every block, uh, there is a ADA. Okay, okay. Director of Agriculture. Okay. Then uh, his subordinate is the agriculture officer. Oh, 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 oh. very uh, good. And uh, his subordinate is the agriculture assistant. Oh, beautiful. Ah, beautiful. Okay, uh, okay, okay. It is the style of the pattern. Aha. See, how it happened, you know, you are perfectly correct. You know this? This, I just took from your book. And the book actually, you know, they prepared from Delhi. 
ഹലോ ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവ്രി ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവ്രി അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് അണ്ടർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സബ്ജെക്ട് ഓക്കെ ഈച്ച് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് കാൻ ക്രിയേറ്റ് സച്ച് പോസ്റ്റ് ഓർ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് എവർ യു ആർ ടെല്ലിംഗ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർസെന്റ് കറക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ആസ് പെർ ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ഈസ് എ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സബ്ജെക്ട് സോ റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് കാൻ യു നോ Uh, create a such post or redesignate or give the designation etc etc okay sir okay sir. Uh, because this this uh, book uh, was made from delhi yes. and uh, it is general this thing so okay. definitely variation will come definitely so you are perfectly correct i agree with you i'll uh, thank you very much for giving the inputs to me and uh, whatever i said uh, it was from your book actually structure i know that at certain times you know sometimes you know whatever they are telling here structure will be different definitely it will be different See, for example i will tell you okay sir wage wages wages are coming under state okay wages eh okay daily wages or whatever is you know, that is fixed by the state government okay. now reason kerala is having the highest wages that you know we have to pay and uh, to the workers where suppose tamil nadu karnataka or andhra pradesh and the minimum wages are less yes, that is yes, because yes. state government has fixed yes. state government has fixed now i will tell you one interesting thing even just immediately after the class i had to prepare one you know one letter also regarding this to some other you know consultant see i will just tell you one more thing even dearness alavan dearness alavan you will be surprised depend upon the classification of the city normally dearna salvens is given isn't it isn't it vda yes, 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 yes. depend upon the suppose if you are in major city a capital city and you will get more a b class city you will get more i don't know how what is your pattern and other thing so and c class city it is like that now here you will be surprised to know that in kerala trivandrum is the capital and Kochi is industrially very, very developed, uh, this thing. Trivandrum is A-class city. And Kochi is B-class city. And Kannur is not at all classified, unclassified. But uh, Kannur is having the maximum Dierna Salvan, VDA. Oh. You know that? <laughs> Kannur. Because immediately after this class, I had to give the answer, uh, one letter to, you know, in this regard, because... i am also dealing with this type of thing and kannur which is unclassified is the employees are getting more dear and salvan than the capital city or the big class city so it happens sometimes okay. but one thing it is decided by the state government through gazette notification okay 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 sir so your structure whatever your structure it is also through gazette notification only because the when they want to create any post they have to take the cabinet approval and uh, you know get a notification should be there so yes. you are i fully agree with you because it is a state subject so whatever i talked it is from the book okay, it is okay. Okay. central government in view okay so anything else sir no more things up now sir okay so thank you very much for participation